When was the last time you saw, for instance, a defender of Israel, a defender of Zionism, uh, confronted with the fact that major human rights organizations say that Israel is practicing apartheid? How do you defend that? When is the last time you've seen an interviewer? How often do you see interviewers? Because I don't want to say it never happens. How often do you see interviewers say, listen, we have, you know, the former head of Human Rights Watch that says you are practicing genocide right now in Gaza. How do you respond to that? How often do you say, how often do you say that? How often do you see how do you define yourself as a democracy when fully half the people under your rule are not equal? There is no problem with confronting me. You know, I would like to see some other people confronted. And the second part of that is who gets to do the confronting in the first place? I feel like there are people who are going through this experience and who have gone through this experience who know so much more, who are completely out of the frame. And those are Palestinians and Palestinian Americans. So it's not just the issues that I raise in the confrontation. The question I, was a I would ask is you have to imagine a world where a Palestinian American journalist could be on a mainstream show like CBS This Morning and confront someone who wrote a book that, say, defended Israel or defended Zionism with that kind of aggression. It's fine if I get it, but I want to live in that world, too.